It was a very challenging year from the, uh, the economic side of, uh, of the business, uh, but I'm happy to report that uh, the Texas Hospital Association and its subsidiaries and affiliates, uh, HealthShare, the Texas Hospital Insurance Network, Texas Healthcare Trustees, THA Foundation, all did very well in regards to the bottom line. They were all very positive. Uh, none of them had a deficit for the year, uh, and a lot of some of the action that had to be taken during the course of the year, uh, a lot has to be said about how the staff reacted and how they responded to the, those economic challenges. Uh, our investments took a hit, uh, our revenue sources took a hit, uh, our staff realized that and in realizing it uh, went back and looked at what they were going to do and how they were going to adjust for those uh, short farm revenues and, uh, and did very well. Uh, they they, they, they um, uh, stood up to the challenge. We ended up uh, with the positive bottom line where at one point during the year we were projecting to have actually a loss in a couple of organizations. Um, and so uh, I also attribute that to the membership. Uh, as we talked about it during the course of the uh, board meetings throughout the year, uh, they stepped up and they helped and they helped to guide and steer the direction we wanted to go in order to account for uh, the shortfalls. Uh, we ended up uh, a little below our uh, strategic goal, uh, our strategic goals, uh, but not to the point where they were negative either. We ended up with a positive return on our assets. Uh, we shoot for a particular level. We weren't quite at that level, but it was positive. Uh, our current financial position still remains strong. Our assets, even though they're deflated because of the uh, market, um, are still available to us at a pretty uh, strong level. So we don't have an issue with liquidity. Um, and all through all that, I would have to say that we did uh, extremely, extremely well in light of all the challenges that we had.